When a species goes through a rapid environmental shift, they either adapt or they diminish. One great way to overcome adversity is by adapting with creativity. However, to do so, you must be intellectually diverse. This brings me to my idea worth spreading, that intellectual diversity is key to creativity. Intellectual diversity is gained by harnessing a wide range of opinions, perspectives, experiences, and disciplines. I'm a computer science major, and in a world glued together by technology, it's a great field to be in. Still, I realized from early on in my education that I did not want my major to define who I am. It's always been important to me to differentiate myself from the crowd. It is not just my education, but my experiences that have made me who I am today. Naveen Jain is a philanthropist, entrepreneur, and tech pioneer. I was lucky enough to meet Mr. Jain when I was 17. However, when I was 17, all I really cared about were sports, cars, and girls. He asked me a number of questions, like what university are you aiming for, what do you want to study, and what do you want to do? These are all questions I didn't really have answers to at the time. But when I did figure them out, I started asking myself bigger questions. Like, what difference do I want to make, and what problems do I want to solve? That was my turning point. Best-selling author Malcolm Gladwell says that it takes 10,000 hours to become expert at something. And becoming expert produces truly exceptional ideas. But that is true. Mr. Jane believes that the people who will come up with the creative solutions to solve some of the world's biggest problems, such as global warming and the global debt crisis, will not be experts in their field. Instead, the real game changers will be individuals who approach challenges with a clean lens, bringing together diverse opportunities, experience, and knowledge. Another great example of an intellectually diverse person is Elon Musk. For those of you who know who Elon Musk is, you also know that he's pretty much the real-life Iron Man. He's a South African-born engineer and entrepreneur, and he has never hesitated to venture into a field where he had no industry experience or expertise, but felt that he could make a difference. He's the former founder of PayPal and is now the CEO and CTO of SpaceX, a private company that designs, manufactures, and launches rockets and spacecraft. He's also the co-founder and head of product design at Tesla Motors. He's been successful in part for his ability to bring together diverse persons to solve the truly big problems. But perhaps the most popular example is Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was not an engineer, but a visionary with an extremely diverse intellect. The significant problems that we face cannot be solved at the same level of thinking that we were at when we created them. That's a quote from Einstein. So six months after meeting Mr. Jane, I co-founded my first startup. And today, I'm working to launch my fourth. I'm 21. So as a college student, I cannot stress enough how important intellectual diversity is. We are the future. It is on us to solve the problems that our species and our planet faces. So how intellectually diverse of a person are you? Do most of your friends come from the same background as you? Do all of your interests lie in the same field as your education? Do you recognize problems and then come up with creative solutions to solve them? As I said before, intellectually, intellectual diversity is gained by harnessing a wide range of opinions, perspectives, experiences, and disciplines. So use your time in college to grow. Use it to meet people from different backgrounds. Use it to take classes outside of your major to understand what problems other fields face. And in doing so, you will broaden your intellectual horizons, giving you the power to overcome adversity by adapting with creativity. Thank you.